Imagine a river longer than the Thames flowing silently beneath the Arabian sands, not a natural wonder but a feat of modern engineering. Saudi Arabia, defined by its deserts and lack of rivers, built an underground network to fight extreme water scarcity. This hidden lifeline sustains life where nature offered almost none. The challenge, a nation with no permanent rivers, unpredictable rainfall, and a booming population. As cities and agriculture expanded, the need for water soared. The solution wasn't a canal, but a subterranean network of massive pipelines, protected from the sun, precisely controlled. This project marks a profound shift, where nature doesn't provide, human ingenuity steps in. It's not just pipes and pumps, it's about survival and resilience in an unforgiving climate. Saudi Arabia, rich in oil but poor in water, set out to re-engineer its own geography. Today, this underground network is the circulatory system of modern Saudi Arabia, quietly delivering water to cities and farms. Against the odds, the desert's grand illusion flows beneath the sand. Before building an underground river, Saudi Arabia had to capture the little water it received. Rainfall is rare, and arrives as sudden, powerful downpours quickly lost to evaporation or deep sand. The answer, a nationwide dam building program. Over 500 dams now slow floodwaters, allowing them to seep underground and recharge ancient aquifers. These dams funnel unpredictable rainwater into natural storage protecting it from evaporation. By storing water underground they ensure it's safe and available for later use. This blend of ancient technique and modern engineering is the first line of defense in water management. Yet, even with every drop captured, it's not enough for a nation of over 37 million. The kingdom had to look deeper, toward ancient finite water hidden beneath the desert. Beneath the sands lies a hidden ocean, ancient fossil water trapped for thousands of years. As surface supplies dwindled, Saudi Arabia tapped these deep aquifers, fueling an agricultural revolution and turning desert into green fields. For a time the nation even exported wheat and dairy, but this came at a cost. Fossil water is non-renewable, every liter pumped is gone forever. The green circles in the desert were sustained by depleting a resource that took millennia to form. Realizing the danger, the government scaled back agriculture, shifting focus from farming to more sustainable solutions. Fossil water still plays a role, but the future demanded a new approach, turning to the sea. The next chapter would be written on the coast, where fresh water is manufactured from salt water. With fossil aquifers running low, Saudi Arabia turned to the sea, its only limitless water source. The kingdom invested massively in desalination, becoming the world's largest producer of fresh water from salt water. These coastal plants use reverse osmosis and thermal methods, but they're energy hungry, often powered by oil and gas. This creates a paradox burning fossil fuels to make water, while contributing to climate change. To break this cycle, Saudi Arabia is investing in solar-powered desalination and energy-efficient technologies. Wastewater recycling also helps, treating urban water for reuse in agriculture and industry. The scale is staggering, desalinated water must travel hundreds of kilometers inland, enter the underground river, a vast pipeline network, some large enough to drive through, crisscrossing the desert. This artificial circulatory system delivers water safely, shielded from the desert's heat. It's a marvel of logistics and engineering, connecting coast to city, sea to sand. But even this system faces new challenges as demand grows. The underground pipeline network is the backbone of Saudi Arabia's water system, a silent river connecting coast to city. By burying pipelines engineers solved the evaporation problem, delivering nearly every drop to its destination. Dams, desalination and underground transport form a multi-layered defense against water scarcity. This infrastructure allows millions to thrive in cities that would otherwise be impossible. Yet, the system's strength is also its fragility. Water security is tied to energy and economic stability. Any disruption to energy or coastal plants could have immediate, severe consequences. Saudi Arabia's water journey is a race between innovation and consumption. The question remains, can this man-made water cycle keep up with a growing diversifying nation? As the kingdom looks beyond oil, managing water will be its ultimate test. The silent river must keep flowing because without it, the desert will reclaim its own.